So I'm here at the Midland City Depot. It was once part of the B&O. And later on in the video, I'll have to do some research on what line this actually is. I'm thinking Indiana, Ohio, or maybe Ohio Central. I don't think Ohio Central comes this far, but it might be Indiana and Ohio from the Genesee and Wyoming. There was rumor of being demolished, but I don't think it ever stayed on the books. There's also talks of being restored, but I just don't know. So hopefully I will find out more information and we'll post it in this video later on. I know I've seen this in other people's videos, so I might have to take a look back on some of those videos and get you more information. Still has the old, I always call it a cobblestone, the old red brick paving waiting area for your train. It would be nice to see something like this restored, but it's definitely in very bad shape. Ooh, we'll take a little tour real quick. Yeah, there's holes in the floor. Yeah, very bad shape. Looks like the chimney caved in with the roof. There's holes in the floor there. Yeah, this is a shame. This looks like it might have been the ticket office or something it's an old stove the old control panel they're probably the fuse box Well, there you go. A little quick tour. See if I can get some more information on it. So I was able to find out a little more info. The depot was built in 1885. It is located on the east side of Route 68 in Midland, Ohio. The depot is referred to as the Midland City Depot and was the junction of the B&O's Midland City Columbus Branch with the B&O Chillicothe Sub Main Line. It sits in the middle between the two lines, and the upper floor was the Switchman's Tower. Now the trackage is run by the Indiana and Ohio Railway and CSX. That's about all I could find out, and if anybody knows any more info, please share it in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, share it, and have a great day. Pappy out!